Whereas the Open Public Meeting Act of the State of New Jersey permits the public to be, oh, we don't want that one. <laughs> about in compliance with Chapter 231 of the Open Public Meeting Act of the State of New Jersey, adequate notice uh, having been given to all members of the governing body, the local source, and the Westfield leader, the two newspapers designated uh, to receive such notice. And this notice is also posted on the uh, borough hall bulletin board. Let's stand for an invocation from Councilman Messer. Dear Lord, please um, protect our police, fire, and emergency uh, squad people um, while they do our jobs to serve the community. Please protect our soldiers overseas that are protecting our rights and uh, bless the residents of Mount Side. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilwoman Andre? Here. Councilman Lane? Here. Councilman Messler? Here. Councilman Mortimer? Here. Councilman Turner? Here. Councilman Wass? Here. First, uh, we have the approval of minutes of the regular session of July 18th, 2011. We have a motion to approve. So moved. We have a second. Second. Hold council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wall? Yes. Next we have the work session and executive session uh, um, meeting minutes for February 1st, 2011. We get a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Hold council. Councilman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next, we have a proclamation for Youth Art Month 2011. Whereas art education contributes powerful educational benefits to all elementary, middle, and secondary mm -hmm. students, including the following art education develops students' creative problem solving and critical thinking abilities. Art education teaches sensitivity to beauty, order, and other expressive qualities. Art education gives students a deeper understanding of the multicultural values and beliefs. Art education reinforces and brings to life what students learn in other subjects. Art education interrelates student learning in art production, art history, art criticism, and aesthetics. And whereas our national leaders acknowledge the necessity of including the art experience in all student education, and whereas March is officially recognized as Youth Art, Youth art Month, I endorse the observance of Youth Art Month and endorse and, uh, and encourage the support <coughs> of quality school art programs for our children and youth. Now therefore, I as the mayor do endorse March 2010 as Youth Art Month. Can we have a motion for saying, please? 2011. 2011? 2011, you said 10. Oh, 2011. We have so, a motion? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so proclaimed. Next, we have Resolution 41 2011. Deanna? Yes, having a vacancy in the position of administrative assistant, this resolution will confirm the appointment of Lisa Gonzalez to the full-time position effective February 7, 2011 at an annual salary of 32500 with benefits and a 90-day probationary period. We have a motion. We have a second. Second. Hold the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. And this is replacing an employee that has retired, correct? Yes. 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 We'd like to welcome Lisa Gonzalez to the Mountainside family. I understand from Martha that she's been fitting in quite well. And uh, we just want to welcome her. Next, we have Resolution 42 2011. Bill? This resolution authorizes the appropriation of $300 to the Fundraising Committee of 2011 Project Graduation for the purposes of sponsoring a drug and alcohol-free party immediately following June's graduation from Governor Livingston High School. 
Got a motion. We have a second. Second. Call the council. Councilwoman Andre. Yes. Councilman Lane. Yes. Councilman Messler. Yes. Councilman Mortimer. Yes. Councilman Turner. Yes. Councilman Watts. Yes. Next, we have resolution 43, 2011. Bob. Yes, this resolution will authorize the annual renewal of our grant agreement with the County of Union Department of Human Services for educational services for the prevention of substance abuse throughout the Union County through the Union County Municipal Alliance. The grant amount will be $15,769 with the borough matching 25% of $3,942. So moved. Second. Call the council. Councilwoman Andre. Yes. Councilman <coughs> Lane. Yes. Councilman Messler. Yes. Councilman Mortimer. Yes. Councilman Turner. Yes. Councilman Watts. Yes. Next, we have Resolution 44, 2011. Deanna. This resolution will authorize the borough's CFO to enter the agreement and make payment in the amount of $15,000 with Garden State Fireworks for the July 4, 2011 celebration with the rain date of July 5th. Again, this year it is anticipated that the Mountainside Fire Company and the Mountainside Police Athletic League will each donate $3,750 for our annual celebration. We have a motion, we have a second. 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 Call the council. <clears throat> Councilman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. And by doing this, making the payment now, we get some extra fireworks. Is that correct, Jim? That's correct, Mr. Mayor. Okay, good. Get an extra firecracker. <laughs> it's actually 10% of the product increased by paying it up front this early. Good. Thank you. Next, we have Resolution 45, 2011. Keith. Resolution 45, 2011. Um, some people lost out, I guess, because the car is gone. <laughs> Following receipt of three bids for a surplus 2009 Ford Crown Victoria with only 71,702 miles, the borough clerk recommends that the vehicle be awarded to its highest bidder. That was Grace Quality Used Cars out of Marsville, Pennsylvania in the amount of $7,848. And I uh, also want to let everybody know that the, there was a problem with the motor and the timing uh, belt was also broken. <laughs> and it was so still about $7,848. <laughs> Slight problem with the motor. We have a motion, we have a second. I'll to prove this quickly. Second. Follow <laughs> 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 the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 46, 2011. Glenn? Having received a number of county tax board judgment appeals, this resolution will authorize the following refunds. Block 16.J, Lot 17, for $1,533.08. Block 5.Q, Lot 12, $191.33. Lot, block 5.B, lot 23, $984.55. Block 2, lot 1.G, $3,595.01. Block 3N, lot 34, $1,447.01. ,001. That's it. We have a motion, we have a second. Second. Call the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 47, 2011. Jeff? This resolution approves temporary appropriations under NJSA 40A colon 4 slash 19 of the Local Budget Act into the temporary budget for the year 2011 as recommended by the Borough's Chief Financial Officer, <coughs> Joe Green. Second. A second. And surprise, surprise, it's going into snow removal. Call mm -hmm. the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Next, we have Resolution 48, 2011. Deanna? At the recommendation of the borough's tax assessor, upon the receipt of the New Jersey Tax Court judgment, this resolution will authorize a tax appeal settlement, reducing the assessed value at Block 7.D, Lot 38, 
1090 Bristol Road to 400,000 for the year 2010, while the 2009 tax appeal will be withdrawn and a refund of $3,656.90 for the tax year 2010 will be issued to the appropriate authority. A motion, we have a second. Second. Call the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Nesla? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Walsh? Yes. Resolution 49-2011, it looks like we improperly spelled the name of our borough's new tax assessor. Uh, and this, I guess this is a prior resolution we had? Yes. Well, amended three prior resolutions. The amends all the prior ones. All the prior resolutions? The correct spelling. Okay. Yes, sir. And do we have the correct spelling now? Mm -hmm. Yes. We do. Very good. We have a motion? So moved. Second. Call the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next, we have a second reading on Ordinance 1183-2011, Keith. Ordinance 1183-2011 is an ordinance amending Chapter 10, Section 1.14, Sections A and B of the Code of the Borough of Mountainside, New Jersey, regarding the membership uh, fees for the use of the Mountainside Community Pool. So moved. We have a motion. Second. We have a second. This is the second reading, so it's open to public input. Seeing no public present, I move that se section be closed. So moved. Call the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Nessler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. Next, we have the second reading of Ordinance 1184-2011. Deanna? An, ordin an ordinance to amend Ordinance 1176-2010, fixing the salary ranges for certain municipal employees. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. It's a second reading, so it's open to public input. Seeing no public input. <laughs> Seeing no public input, can we move it to be closed? So moved. Call the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Wass? Yes. For the audience, the only amendment to the uh, salary uh, range is that we've added a sports coach for recreation. In the event we need to uh, hire a coach to take over some sports. Next, we have a first reading on Ordinance 1185-2011. Bob? Yes, an ordinance to appropriate the sum of $190,000 for the resurfacing of Pembroke Road. So moved. Second. Second. The first reading, so there's no public input. Poll the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messner? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. That's Ron, do you know when you're going to start that? Don't know yet, the council. It'll probably be uh, sometime in the summer. Okay. 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 Uh, next, we have a motion. Motion to approve a raffle application received from Center for Hope Hospice for an on-premise 50-50 raffle, off-premise draw raffle, and an on-premise draw raffle. We have somebody make that motion. So moved. I got a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Next, we have approval of a raffle ap application for the Mountainside Restoration Committee for an on-premise draw raffle. We have a motion. So moved. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Next we have bills and claims. Be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Mountainside that the following bills of the person's name are for the amount stated below, having been duly audited and found to be correct this 15th day of February 2011, the same be paid after council's review if and when funds are available, and that the mayor, council president, administrator, and treasurer are hereby authorized and directed to sign and deliver warrants for same. Total one million three hundred sixty-two thousand two hundred twenty-five dollars and seventy-five cents. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. As everyone knows, these uh, bills are listed are, are available at uh, from Martha in the clerk's office. 
Call the council. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Lane? Yes. Councilman Messler? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Councilman Watts? Yes. Next we have council comments. I have one, Mr. Mayor. Public service announcement. On behalf of the Mountainside Education Foundation, they are um, proudly announcing its, their partnership with the Barclays Golf Tournament, which will be at the Plainfield Country Club, August 23rd to 28th, 2011. They're looking for volunteers, and anybody interested in volunteering, uh, it would be anybody over 16 years old can volunteer. For the youngsters, they would need parental consent. Uh, please visit the website, barclaysvolunteers.pgatourhq.com, and click on online volunteer registration and look for the Mountainside Education Foundation under the affi affiliation category. Thank you, Bud. Thank you. Any other council comments? Uh, on, on behalf of myself and the council, I, I do want to commend our entire Mountainside community for the way they responded to the passing of B.J. Gianone, uh, this uh, a week and a half ago. Uh, he, he was a wonderful kid. He was a, a true mountainside spirit. I want to commend our public works for what they did, our police for what they did, uh, and just the community in general. I know that G and Owens really appreciated all the support. Also, Our Lady of Lords for hosting the, the wake. It couldn't have been done anywhere else. And all the individuals that, that contributed and, and helped them get through that, uh, that great loss. I want to commend the community. Thank you. I just add that, uh, and I, I think many of us have done so privately, but publicly to again offer our condolences to uh, the Gino and family um, for the, the you know the tragic passing of, of BJ. As as the mayor said, he's a, a wonderful young man. So I know that they have started a BJ Gino Memorial Fund, and anyone that is interested in. Contributing, I guess maybe you can contact Jim and we can get him Absolutely. the information. Okay. Yes. Call uh, Burl Hall, administrator's office, and I'll get you all the information you need. Thank you. Any other comments? Okay, whereas the Open Public Meeting Act of the state of New Jersey permits the public to be excluded from certain matters to be discussed by the governing body, and whereas the mayor and uh, council uh, desire to discuss litigation, contracts, and personnel, which are matters where the exclusion of the public is permitted, whereas the public disclosure of the results of this discussion will be made as soon as the matter discussed has been resolved by the governing body of the Borough of Mountainside. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Mayor and Council of the Borough of Mountainside that the aforesaid matters shall be discussed in closed session with the adoption of this uh, resolution. We have a motion to go into executive session. So moved. Second. Second. So moved.